The Lagos State Government has launched the first of its kind, a universal patronage cash reward for residents called a code token. The government says this initiative will focus on financial inclusion that will bring more people under the system of wealth creation and then boost the economic activities of the state. Member of the Lagos State House of Assembly. Some Lagos State cabinet members, alongside experts in business and economics, are here to launch a universal patronage cash reward initiative, which will promote economic growth and cushion the effects of COVID-19 on citizens and residents in Lagos State. The initiative, called Eco Token, is an electronic reward for residents, and the state government gives more insight into the scheme. It is a unique partnership with the private sector that will foster a new era of new, sustainable and robust tripod relationship between businesses, government, and the good people of Lagos State. Improve the turnover of businesses and, and, the, and, and though the reward system enhances the economic prosperity of the people of Lagos State. A court token is not a lottery, but a cash reward for patronage offered by Lagos businesses to Lagos residents as thank you for their patronages and loyalty. It is on this premise that I implore CEOs and captains of industries to key into this laudable initiative as the Lagos State Government is pioneering a new era for the development of socially rewarding business models that create a blanket of success that will cut across diverse sectors of the economy while immediately having a social impact. This trailblazing initiative will be roundly sustainable as this is of mutual benefit between business organizations and the people of the state. The potentials of this laudable initiative is innumerable as we visualize increased job creation, financial inclusion, new businesses, business relationship, and more to be synergized for wealth creation purposes in Lagos State. We are continually committed to building the Lagos of our dreams. We are prosperity of businesses and the welfare of the people takes a pride of place in the scheme of things. Lagos State Commissioner for Economic Planning and Budget, Sam Igube, says the system represents economic connectivity amongst the people. It is people power that brings about the conversion of natural resources into value systems and value propositions that actually hold a nation up. What cash token represents is a combination of all of this, is the connection between the people and the businesses and the government. And when that triangle comes together, right, it focuses our energies in a manner that nothing else can focus it. So I'm excited today that um, CLD has found an innovative way of combining all three, which is usually a challenge to do, but combine all three into one place. And from an economic standpoint, I begin to see the amount of prosperity that comes, not only just by putting money in the hands of people, but also by creating data sets that we can use to take decisions, so that decisions are no more, are not knee-jerk, but are evidence-based. We can see the patterns and see the nature of interventions that will be required first in Lagos State and nationally. Meanwhile, the former Deputy Governor of the state, Mr. Femi Pedro, believes the development heralds a new era of a strong creative economic alignment between the people and the government of Lagos State. I'm convinced beyond any doubt that this is a highly mutually beneficial program for the business community, the residents of Lagos, and the government of Lagos State. It's a very creative, synergetic endeavor that will bring the people and the business community together and create wealth for all parties involved. The distinguishing feature of the Eco Token Reward is that all parties are winners ultimately. The business community will sell more. The people of Lagos State will experience the same reward across multiple industries and the government will benefit from the extensive public emotional equity. 
The political economy expert in the House, Professor Patu Tommy, echoes the need for governments to come up with more creative ideas that will transform people's lives. In a globalized world in which, as globalization has done it, capital has come to become concentrated. In fact, 12 men in California own more capital than the continent of Africa put together. There is therefore need to reinvent people like Noxe and to think of more creative ways of mobilizing capital to advance the common good of all. Every time I see, and I have to be honest, I'm not putting it down or anything, I just have never found time to watch BB Niger, is it what it's, yeah? Big Brother. Uh, um, but the kind of revenues they generate from people just, you know, calling up to say, I prefer this person to that person. It's an incredibly creative way to build capital. And when I see an initiative such as this, I'm impressed that people are thinking. Because we need to build capital to transform lives. It is not accepted that Nigeria should be called the poverty capital of the world. We have the resources that we can creatively turn to, to use to make the lives of everybody better. To the glory of God, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the the Eco Token is a smart city initiative which represents giving back to the society as an innovative solution to social security.